What's up world, it's your boy Lil Ty and this is another episode of Lil Ty Speaks and today I'm going to talk to y'all about Donald Sterling. Yes, your boy Donald is back at it again and he's trying to justify his racist comments by basically saying that he's not a racist. Now, he goes into saying that he basically said what he said was because he was trying to fuck V. Stiviano. What the fuck is his obsession with V. Stiviano? She don't look all that good to begin with. And basically, he's a billionaire. He can fuck any woman that he want. Any bitch, any hoe, any woman. I mean, come on, man. A billionaire. Now, it, V. Stiviano don't look that good to begin with, in my opinion. To me, she looks like a transvestite. Walking around with that fucking mask on her face, she doing damn right because she don't look all that good. And another thing, bitch, you ain't gonna be the fucking president of the United States. You can get that out your head. That ain't gonna happen no time in this lifetime or next lifetime. But anyway, y'all give me y'all comments because I'm gonna watch this video with y'all. Give me y'all comments and give me y'all takes upon what y'all think about his words because he goes in a lot. You think I'm a racist? You think I have anything in the world but love for everybody? You don't think that. You know I'm not a racist. I know I got, but I, I got the, when I mean, when I heard the... I can't I mean, hear you. What about you when know, I hear the, when what, I hear that tape though, that, that tape I heard. I grew up in East L.A. East L.A. you die to get out of there. I got out of East L.A. I was the president of the high school there. I mean, if he, and I'm a Jew, and 50% of the people there were black, and 40% were Hispanic. You ever been to Boyle Heights? Yeah, yeah, I've been to Boyle Heights. So, I mean, people must have a good feeling for me. Did you did you talk to uh, Griffin or anybody yet? Did you talk to anybody? I didn't yet? talk to anybody. I'm in my house in Beverly Hills. Yeah. I mean, how could you think I'm a racist knowing me all these years? How can you be in this business and be a racist? Do you think I tell the coach to get white players? Or to get the best player he can get? The best player he can get. I mean, uh, you, uh, I don't expect anything from anybody, but I do from you. I mean, you gave the money on that? it breaks my heart that Magic Johnson, you know, my, my, uh, my uh, guy, I rep, uh, a guy that I respect so much, wouldn't stand up and say, well, let's get the facts. Let's get him and talk to him. Nobody tried. Nobody. I'm here on, in, on Beverly Drive and Sunset across from the Beverly Hills Hotel. You know? I, think that, I mean, I think they're kind of, they're going to, they're probably trying, they're trying to force you to sell it. That's the thing. They don't, you can't force someone to sell property in America. Well, I'm a lawyer. That's my I opinion. Think that, well, no, I'm just saying, I think they got uh, Sean Combs. Diddy, is, he's the one that's really seeking to buy him and Oprah. Who? Diddy, Sean Combs, and and, um, and Oprah. I'm talking to a girl. I'm trying to have sex with her. I'm trying to play with her. What can you, you know, the... Uh, uh, if you were trying to have sex with a girl, and you're talking to her privately, you don't think anybody's there, you may say anything in the world, what difference does it make? Then if the girl tapes it and releases it, my God, it's it's awful. Then that's you, the thing, you have to be Joel, careful on that. You suppose all you the ministers will be careful. Who thinks that anybody's gonna tape something? What the hell, I'm talking to a girl. The girl's black, I like her. I'm jealous that she's with other black guys. I want her. So what the hell can I pri in private tell her? You know, I don't want you to be with anybody. I, I mean, do I have, can I, am I a person? Do I have any freedom of speech? I wish Magic Johnson was talking to a girl and you're trying to play with her. And you might say anything. You may say you have the biggest penis in the world. I would have said I could fly over, uh, over high-rise buildings if I had to. And you're talking to her, then you go away, and the next thing, three months later, what you said when you were hot trying to get her, 
is, is released. I have a girl here who has black kids and is, is partly black, I think, myself. I love the girl. And so she's telling me, you're wrong. I know I'm wrong. What I said was wrong. But I never thought the private conversation would go anywhere mm -hmm. out to the public. I didn't want her to bring anybody to my game because I was jealous. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm being honest. And it uh, doesn't matter. No, no one's going to hear it but you and me, so. Yeah. And there you have it. And that was the audio, man. I hope y'all enjoy that shit. Make sure y'all leave comments. Hit the like button, man. And y'all be easy about that, man. Peace. Tell him don't waste my time. Waste man waffling down my phone. Tell him don't waste my time.